Hey everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing and it has been a great week to two weeks. I have been having such a blast. I have been all over the water and having a great time. This first trip, I was fishing with a friend of mine, Mike from Texas Fishing Force, and we were targeting some red drums. Now, if you watch my last video, How to Catch Red Drums, you will notice that I am using a technique I talked about in that video, fishing around oysters and straight retrieving my lure. Now I caught this great jewel hanging around the oysters and banging out on some mullet. There we go. him over there splash a little bit chasing bait so cast on him he might barely make 20 we'll see uh, I think he's gonna be a little short uh, it's nice cuz it's not really a whole lot going on this morning not yet see this guy here. He's gonna be a little juvenile. Gonna be a little undersized I think. I just blind casting and blind casting this morning and I saw he looked like he came out of water on the side of that oyster right there. No he is 21. Awesome. 21 inch red. That's pretty sweet here's right here got him on the DSL and we got him on that Texas rattling jig head if you don't know about Texas rattling jig head you should definitely check them out great great jig heads with that nice little rattle there you go on the side of the mouth. I'm gonna get you out of here, buddy. One spot or two spots on that side. I think one spot on the other. Yeah, I'm gonna get this guy out. He's gonna swim on. And there he goes. No harm, no foul, right? Oh, this water feels much warmer than the air. That's a nice net. Really like this net. Academy H2O net. Really like that net. I'm gonna come back over here and see if I can get him again on that on that reef there. See if there's another one over there. That was on a T3 rods. Nice rod. The Shimano. I think it's a Shimano reel. Yeah, it's a Shimano. 150 HG. Cascane braided line. I want to see if we can get another one off this reef. They're hard to see all the reefs. We have a real high tide. So all the reefs are submerged. So it's kind of kind of hard to see where they're at. Maybe the sun will get a little more overhead. A little brighter. They'll be a little more pronoun, pronounced. Or stand out. Or whatever word I'm looking for. So we'll see if we can get another one over here. But if, you don't, and if you're not familiar with this Texas rattling jig head. I'll, uh, I'll show you here. Talk to you here about in a minute, but that's what I caught it on to that color DSL. I haven't thrown DSL in a while, so I decided to break them out today. And uh, dirty, dirty water. So I'm with a darker color. I always love having a shark shoe's tail, no matter what color I'm throwing. I really like a shark shoe's tail. So it has a uh, silver flakes on the belly and Sharshu's tail.
This next trip, I was fishing with Eric and we were all over the West Bay area. We found tons and tons of bait, but we just couldn't hook up. And again, I was using a technique from my last video. I was fishing a boat cut and it gets a little deeper, drops off a little bit. And I was just working that edge of the drop off and then bam, to my surprise, fish on. Oh my gosh, he jumped in the kayak. Do another one, yeah, do another one. For a minute, I'll take him out. Did you? There you go. Got that guy right there. H2 Express rod. Got him on that. Texas Rattling Jake Head. And he's kind of small, which I thought he would be. I just kind of want to see where he's at. He's gonna be at 14, yeah, just right about 14 inches. That bite and fight angle jig head in, uh, bite and fight angle lure in his mouth. Old jaw breaker. Get it out right here. There we go. Little guy, gonna let him go. Little dink, we've been searching everywhere for him. Moments later, I was drifting the flats and just working my lure up and down, popping it, letting it fall, popping it, letting it fall. And then I, again, once again, I felt the little tug, set the hook, and boom, fish on. Another little dink. Uh, there we go. Dinky dinky. Stinky dinky. Now the next day, I went out with the guys from BFA VIP Club, Justin, Bite and Fight Angler, Charles, Dirty Bay Fishing, and myself. We took a member of the club out. And this is one of the great benefits that you get when you become a BFA VIP Club member, is you get some one-on-one -on -one fishing opportunities, like Jose did on this particular day. Now we didn't land any great big fish, but however, Jose was able to hook up to his first fish on a first speckle trout on an artificial lure, and heck, I even caught a mullet. God, he caught a mullet. <laughs> now that that's a first, boy. Yeah. In the mouth. It was in the mouth too. In the mouth. In the mouth. Come on, man. In the mouth. I caught a mullet in the mouth. Look at that. No, okay, maybe, maybe in the eye. You want to? Oh, oh man. You want to pose with your big, yeah. big trophy here? Yeah. Let me grab him. I never, that's a good one. <laughs> there you go. Right on. <laughs> right in the eye. I thought that was a trout too at first. So did I. The way it was acting. One of the things I really enjoy doing and I love it is giving back to the community, especially in the Galveston area. On this particular day, I was out at Sea Star Base Galveston helping my very good friend, Captain Cody Dunn, with his after-school fishing program. Now, if you want to know more details about this fishing program, please visit Sea Star Base Galveston's website, and they'll give you more details. But I was just out here having a great time, teaching the next generation the love and passion that we all have for fishing. Belly of one, one spray. Oh yeah, a foul hooked one, huh? Uh, one like this, but it got stuck on the stomach of it, so I don't think he was trying to eat it. Sometimes you can get them when they're like they're like swimming away. There we go. So now when you flip this like this, now your finger's holding it, right? Mm -hmm. So you let this down, and now you can let it go with your finger, and it's gonna move. So we're gonna flip it back, and then now you now you're controlling it with this again. See? Yeah. So. 
There you go. So now hold it, hold it up here. Put that line in your hand. Hold it with your finger, and then you can flip this, flip that deal down. Okay. Now let let the line go. You let it go all the way to the bottom. You just let it go. It'll go all the way to the bottom. There you go. Now flip this back. And now reel it. Get that little bit of slack out. You want? There you go. Like that. And now just wait. You feeling biting? You feel. And that's when the fish are like picking and picking and picking at it. Here you go. You want to hold it? Okay, we'll do this. Look, Look we're going to set this right here. Yep, put your hand. You sure did. Put your hand out, both of them. I'm going to set them down and squeeze them. Hold on. Squeeze them. There you go. Now look. Hey, Cody. I see. Was that fun catching that fish? Yeah. Yeah? You know what kind of fish it was? It is? Uh, it, it rhymes with croaker. Oh, that's what it is. It is a croaker. <laughs> Good job. Throw, put in the. Put you on the trailer screen over there. Put the. Ow. He got double bubbles. He can't even get his arms around me. Okay. Huh? Poor fish. Hey, save the piggies. There's a whole bucket of them. Play the piggy. Yeah, the on my hands. Play the piggy. Yeah. Oh, this is what a fish looks What's wrong with your hat? I don't know. Is it moving? Kind of fishy. Oh! You a hat little fishy. Is that how you get the mullet to grow? Yeah.